What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be going over how you can change the speed of your drone while it's in motion and also how you can change the uh, orientation of your drone while it's moving to a waypoint. So without further ado, let's get into the video. One more thing I wanted to mention is I have actually taken all the code that I've written in the last few tutorials and I've put it on my GitHub under IQ Pi Mavlink Tutorials. I know some of y'all have been asking for that, so I put the code up so that you guys can download and reference and play with it yourselves. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. I'm going to start off by making a new file called speedyaw.py. The Mavlink messages that we're going to be sending are going to be following the command long structure. This is very similar to how we arm the drone and how we requested takeoff in the previous tutorials. So I'm going to just be going over to the takeoff.py file and I'm just going to copy all of that in into our new Python file. The next thing I'm going to do is delete everything up to the connection.mav.command long send. And we're just going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the RDPilot documentation for commands. The first command that we're gonna be looking at is the mav command condition yaw. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that command and then replace the mav command component arm disarm um, enum with this enum. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take one more look at how this message is structured. So I'm over here in the Mavlink docs and I'm looking at the structure of the command long Mavlink message. So the first few components are the target system, target component that you're sending to, the enumeration of the command that we're sending, and then there is a confirmation field which um, basically just tracks how many times you've attempted to send this command. And then there are the seven specific parameters that are associated with the MAV command enum that you are sending. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the RD pilot docs, which um, has the definition of the message that we're going to be sending. It's important to be looking at the RD pilot docs for specific messages because even though they are following the Mavlink protocol, sometimes they implement the messages a little bit differently. So it's always important to go ahead and take a look at the exact documentation rather than just assuming that RD Pilot has implemented it the way Mavlink intended. So now let's take a look at the parameters within this message. So the first parameter is the target heading and this can either be in a relative or an absolute frame, and that is specified by param4. So if you would like to specify an absolute direction, you're gonna use zero for param4, and if you'd like a relative, um, if you would like a relative orientation, you're gonna use one for param4. And then param2 is going to specify the speed at which the drone is going to yaw, and that's gonna be in degrees per second. Notice it says seconds here, but this is just a typo within the RDU pilot docs. Then finally, Pran3 is going to specify which direction you're going to make this change in direction. So Pran3 is going to specify the direction in which the drone is going to yaw to reach the desired yaw set point. Now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and fill out these fields. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using an absolute angle and I'm going to be setting the drone's uh, yaw angle to 45 degrees in yaw. And so the first parameter, remember, is going to actually be this second uh, field here. And then the fourth parameter will be this one over here. And so for absolute, we're going to be using the zero for param four. And then let's specify a relatively quick uh, change in direction, which we'll be using 25 degrees per second. Let's go ahead and take a look at Pram 3. Pram 3 is going to specify which direction it is going to move to get to the heading set point, but this is only used for relative heading directions, so we're going to ignore this for absolute. So it looks like our program is ready. Let's go ahead and get our simulation up and running. As you can see, I have a SIDL instance up and the drone is at 10 meters. I'm gonna be sending the drone to a waypoint and while it is going to that waypoint, I'm gonna execute our program and we should see the yaw orientation of the aircraft change to 45 degrees while it is going to the waypoint. So let's go ahead and do that.
and boom. Now the aircraft is facing 45 degrees while it is also trying to reach the waypoint that I specified. Now let's go ahead and do a relative angle example. So when we look at the documentation again, param4 specifies relative or absolute. So for relative, we're just gonna set that to one and we should be able to use this program again. So let's go back and look at our SIDL and it looks like it's still moving and we can run the program again and it should move another 45 degrees to the right. If we wanted the aircraft to move counterclockwise, all we need to do is set the third parameter to negative one. Let's look at the SIDL and then, oops, we'll look at the SIDL and then I'll run the program and we should see the aircraft move towards the left. Now let's talk about changing the speed of the aircraft. To do this, we're gonna be using the MAV command do change speed command. So let's go ahead and copy in that anew. Uh, I'm just gonna put it there for now and copy the command long uh, command. And then I'm going to copy that in and change the enum to the MAV command do change speed command. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the parameters. So for this one, the only parameter that is implemented is the param2 param, which is just a speed target in meters per second. So let's go ahead and fill out our parameters. So I'm just gonna set all these to zero. And then remember, we're gonna leave one of these empty. This will be parameter one here and then parameter two will be here. So I'm gonna be setting this to five meters per second. I believe right now my drone is set to move at one meter per second ground speed. And then once we run this program, it should set it to five. Let me also comment out the yaw command. So let's go ahead and send this to another uh, location. And we'll see that the ground speed is one meter per second right now. And then once we run this, it should start to accelerate and reach five meters per second until it needs to decelerate once it gets to the waypoint. I hope you guys found this video informative. Stick around for the next tutorial. And until then, keep it cool.